everybody, and welcome back to the Comic Book Boys. Gambit here to show you how to ship a short box or long box uh, to us, of course, after we, uh, we get some information from you uh, for appraisal or a purchase. Now, before we go any further, make sure that you uh, chime that notification bell, hit the subscribe button, so we can show you all of our great content. Now, if we look around the room, we can actually see that we have a lot of boxes here, and some of these we've sold, some of these we're going to go ahead and store for a while. But before we do any of that, we want to make sure that they're stored properly and so no moisture or anything like that can get in and that they're ready for shipping. So let's jump into it. As you can see is we have two short boxes here and at the Comic Book Boys we prefer to ship uh, to us the short boxes just because they have a little bit more integrity uh, rather than the long boxes. But if you only have long boxes, that's okay too. Uh, we'll kind of show you a way to do go ahead and do that as well. So uh, we have two examples. One of them we have kind of just uh, a bunch of, um, some are bagged and barred, some are just loose. And what we're gonna, while this one's great for viewing at what comics are on the inside, this is not what we're gonna wanna go ahead and ship. What we're gonna wanna go ahead and ship is gonna be this box right here um, because it's nice and tight. Um, there's a little bit of space on the edges and that's okay because we're gonna do actually fill that space up a little bit. Um, and first thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and close this up and grab some tape here and we're gonna start right here on the edges. Oh, one thing to point out is as you can see some of these or all these boxes have little uh, hand holes in them. So we're gonna tape those up um, and if you're shipping to us any box that is not completely filled like this one, you're gonna wanna go ahead and tape these to the side just so the the part of the board doesn't come down and go ahead and ruin your books. So let's go ahead and start um, taping this up. Now, first thing you wanna do is wanna make sure that you're in a uh, comfortable position for this uh, process. Uh, what we have here is we have our box that we are right, all bagged and board and ready to go. On the outside, what we want you to do is you, we want you to put the uh, values of the comics that are a little bit higher. As you can see, we have the Incredible She-Hulk on the outside. On the inside, we have uh, more of the um, ones where the values are a little bit lower. Um, this, these are the older comics, and we just want to make sure that they're the inside a little bit more protected, just in case. I mean, we don't know if FedEx or, or UPS will end up using a forklift or something, and you don't want them to go ahead and damage your book or run over the box. And then you know the the outside ones are are a little bit okay if that happens. The inside ones they'll they'll get a little bit more damage to it. Uh, one thing to mention that if you are going to be sending your books to us. First, make sure that, that we approved it. Um, and if we made a purchase, we will decide on uh, what type of boxes, what type of bags and boards and all that. Um, if it's just for appraisal, then at that point, we'll kind of give you some ideas of where to go for that. So like I said, first thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and cover up these holes and make sure that you use some heavy duty packing tape. You don't want to skip out on tape because this is going to end up helping you protect the books um, as much as possible. Let's go ahead and put some on the side here. And I like doing three layers of that. And everything that we're going to do is we're going to end up using three layers. Now what this does is not only does it protect in case um, somebody accidentally tries to grab it and puncture it and ruin the, the comic books that are on the outside, but this also helps to keep the moisture out of it. Because if we're going to be storing them, or if we're going to be shipping them, we don't know what conditions that they're going to be going through, um, getting across the U.S. or getting internationally. So we want to make sure that if there are some weather conditions, that the books are protected. Now, as you can see right here, we have a couple holes on top. We're going to go ahead and cover those up as well. And again, like using the rule of three here. And then one more thing to kind of point out is on the bottom here, there also could be some moisture that comes in. And when we get further in the process, I'm going to show you what to do for the whole bottom for this time being. We're just going to go ahead and get that bottom part. This is why it's important to do it like on a table or something. 
just so you can move it aside and your, your comic box won't break, uh, fall and damage the books at all. And rule three again. It's okay if it's a little bit ugly. We're not trying to make a beauty pack, uh, pageant here. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the other side for you. So uh, when we come back, we'll uh, go ahead and show you the next step. Welcome back. Now the next step, what we're going to do is you see this line right here. We're going to pull that out again. And I didn't do the bottom yet because I want to do this line real quick. You actually take off the top of the box. That's the reason why we do the box first, just in case we forgot to do the line. In this case, I did. Go ahead and get that line all nice and secure as well. And once you do the top of the box, that means that we're not going to be adding in any more books. So uh, that's why I like using that at the very end of the process. You know, just because in case I say, oh, I'm, I'm, I think I need a couple more books, um, or I think I want to add a little bit more packing in there, you know, you're not feeling too secure about it, and then we can always do that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get the bottom right here, and then we're going to jump back into it, and I'm going to show you the next step. All right, so the next step what we're going to do is, like I said, you know, in case you wanted to add more books into your box, or if you're not feeling that it's, you know, secure enough, this one's a little loose. And you notice that the uh, books are actually off to the side a little bit. That's okay. It's actually preferred because if it's over to one side too much, then it could adjust the weight a little bit and then um, could end up damaging your box. This one's a double pane wall, and that's the ones that we end up uh, liking to use for shipping books just because they're so fragile. So as of right now, I'm happy with how, the, how everything is on the side. You know, that's looking pretty good. But uh, what I want to do is I want to add a little bit of packing material and you can use bubble wrap, you can use newspapers, um, but we're going to go ahead and fill some of that in to the side and just kind of cut off a little piece of it. Or I'm sorry, in the front. Cut off a little piece of it, see if it's going to be able to fit in there without stressing the books too much. No, that's a little bit too much. So we're going to go ahead and cut that down a little bit as well. Here we go. So this is going to go ahead and go in there. Just right in the front here. And remember the front ones are kind of your, your books that are a little bit newer. So you know, they, can, they can take a little bit more damage. Um, if we ask you to put one of the newer books inside of the front, uh, I'm sorry, inside of the middle as opposed to the front, um, then and we made a purchase, just make sure that, that we do that, that way that those particular books are secure because even the newer books, there are some that could be valuable and you still don't want those ones to get damaged. All right, and then after that, as you can see, flip it over on the side. This is again why the reason why we like using the short boxes. The, head, the long boxes are a little bit heavier and you know FedEx or UPS might want to use a forklift or something on that which can damage the bottom of the books or the sides of the books. So we're going to go ahead and use the short boxes as many times as possible. All right, so right here we have an opening. So we're going to go ahead and take those down. Okay, nice and secure, rule of three. Make sure no moisture get inside. And there we go. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get the other sides just like that, and we're gonna come right back to you. And I'm sure as you were watching the video, you saw the little bottom side of these things and thought I wasn't going to tape that down. Well, of course I'm going to tape that down. That's a place that water or moisture or the box could lose its integrity. So we're going to go ahead and tape that part down. And I apologize about the loud tape noises that are on here.
Now we currently have our box all taped up. The only thing that we need to do now is to add a FedEx or UPS or USPS shipping label on top. So um, we don't currently have one on here. We're gonna end up printing that up a little bit later, but you just place it on top. Use the rule of three, make sure you tape down all those sides. Um, you can even, you know, if you feel that that one might end up taking, uh, getting ripped off, you can put one on the side here as well. And then if your local FedEx, UPS, or um, USPS um, mailbox center ends up having some of those fragile stickers, you want to go ahead and place those on here as well. Um, those fragile, I mean, I know they're just a piece of paper, but those fragile stickers end up, you know, telling the driver that, hey, we got some valuable cargo in here. And if you end up ruining it, you bought it. All right, well, thank you very much, guys. That is how you package up a short box in order to ship for USPS, FedEx, or UPS. Um, and make sure that you hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell again, uh, just in case you forgot at the beginning of the show. That way you can get all of our great content. Have a great one.